once I've finished my business plan and I have potential investors, how do I present my idea to them in an interesting way? Because I'm sure they get asked all the time to read business plans. So what's going to make mine stand out, catch their attention? First of all, I don't ever show the business plan until they ask for it. I give the elevator pitch, which is two minutes. If I can't intrigue them in those two minutes, no reason to give them the business plan. That comes back to an earlier question about my concept and my intellectual property and how can I protect it. Well, the reality is, is there's the debate of what a trade secret is. Trade secrets are where you control an idea or you've created an idea and it's a secret to your business that nobody else has. Well, you're not going to give them that in the elevator pitch. The elevator pitch is two minutes, and it's literally, hi, I'm Howard Cannon. This is my concept. This is where the industry is. This is why you should be excited about it. This is how you can make money from it. I mean, it's cut to the chase. Two minutes. Then really what you're looking for is, would this be something that you would be interested in looking at further? At which point... The answer is either yes, no, or maybe. Yes is yes, no is no, maybe is no. Okay, It's like when you went to ask your wife out to get married. Hey, would you like to marry me? Yes, you're in. No, you're out. Maybe, you're out. That's how you got to think about it with an investor. It's yes, no, or maybe. Would you like to look at the investor presentation. Yes. Great. I'm going to show them literally my slides. Investor presentation is literally 15 minutes. It's about a minute a slide, give or take. I'm going to go through more depth of the vision. They're going to see a few cool little pictures. They're going to see a few cool little this, that, and the other. And then you're coming to the next question, which is, so would you like to consider my entire business plan? It's yes, no, or maybe. Guess what? Maybe is actually maybe. It's not your vote. Because a lot of times at that stage, they do have to think about it. Because they know that the business plan took you dozens and dozens and dozens of hours. And therefore, they are now going to have to spend time reading. So yes is, boom, there's the business plan. No is, okay, see you. Do you have anybody else you could possibly introduce me to? And maybe is, let's talk next week and see if I can get in front of you. You get in front of them. It's best to present a business plan. Do you know what I mean by present a business plan? Do something that will intrigue them. Do you know what intrigues people in the restaurant business? Food intrigues people. Otherwise, they probably wouldn't be interested in your business plan. There's nothing wrong with creating some of your dishes. Go to let them dine on some of your dishes. Bring in a chef if you're not one. Have the chef make the dishes so they can sample the items. If the chef's not good, chances are you aren't going to get the money. Give them the business plan. Why do you want to do that? Because now you've presented it in a manner that will help them remember you. I know in our case, in our business, we had a marketing campaign. We went and met with a big national radio station. And my staff made fortune cookies to give to the people at the radio station, as well as chocolate, desserts, cookies, the whole nine yards. We ended up not doing the deal with the radio station. They ended up pitching us to do a deal with them. We decided not to do the deal with them. But still, two and a half years later, when I see the guys from the radio station, guess what they mention? Mm -hmm. They mention my staffer and how wonderful she was and the cookies she made and the fortune cookies and the desserts and the whole package. We're in the food business. Best way to impress people is with food. People love food. 
chances are by, pretty good, by the way, that a lot of angel investors are going to be middle-aged males for the most part. There's exception to the rule. Middle-aged males love to bake goods. So don't be afraid to take big goods. Did I answer your question? <laughs>